Okay, so now we're ready to start applying these texture marks that we've explored and start applying them to our butterfly. So we're thinking about being appropriate again. So we're going to start with the body. So we need to think of what's the most appropriate mark. It's kind of hairy, fairy, fluffy, however you want to think about it. So which marks fit into that? So I'm left with the little lines or the scrumbling texture. And you could choose whichever one you would most like to create. I'm going to go with the little lines just because I think that's going to be the most fun to do. So I'm going to start at the top of my butterfly body and I'm not applying too much pressure and I'm actually varying the pressure a little bit. In some places I'm pushing down a little bit harder but then as I come out towards the edges I'm pushing lighter. just to vary the different thicknesses of line. And then once I've got to a point where I think it's built up enough and it looks hairy and it looks fairy, then I'm going to stop. 